Muslim yeah, but I'm making videos. This is, I'm breaking up the Christian Prince videos, making them so they can I can download them because they're too long. So I'm making them smaller. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm able to, to give you the mic. Download. Now, I want to give you the mic, but I want you to think to, to refute yeah. me, not to give me a speech about go to website. I want you to be a man. Anything else? Jesus, he saved himself. In your book, Muhammad, he died by, because of poison. You said something very important. You said Muhammad died because of poison. Muhammad, he died a few years after he drank the poison. Guy, did he say that? Did he say that? We heard him, right? He said Muhammad, he died five years after the poison. All right. Are you accusing your prophet to be stupid, crazy? And he have no sense? Because in your logic, your prophet is madman. He is saying something stupid because he drank the poison five years ago. And you don't agree with it because obviously Muhammad is being stupid. And you are smarter. Yeah. When you say that the poison cannot be the reason for Muhammad to die, and your logic saying because he drank it five years before his death, that's when Muhammad is losing his mind, or he is being stupid, or he is saying very funny, stupid things. He is not being truthful, he's lying. And you are the one who is saying the truth. Now the mic is yours, but please, don't give me a speech about going somewhere and watch a video or uh, uh, see a website. I want your answer. Why you accuse your prophet that he did lie what he said? And by the way, I do it. This hadith is authentic, sahih, all right? This is sahih. So don't play the game of weak and strong and uh, vitamin A and B. Your mind. <coughs> See, you keep going like overboard on the mic. So every time you try to have an idea, I just come to the mic to refute it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I want to talk about is he was talking about uh, he was talking about the part that he was talking about Allah and Adam, right? Now the reason why we have sense is because Shaitan. Shaitan means Satan for you ignorant Christians that don't know anything about Islam. But see what happened was it was in heaven, right? And Shaitan was very prideful when Allah created mankind, and he did not submit, bow, prostrate towards us. And he said, no, you made dumb, you made dumb, and I'm, I made some flames. He was mad. So Shaitan was very, what was it called, arrogant. And then what happened was, mm -hmm. Allah told Shaitan to get out of here. And what does Satan do? He says to Allah, tempt them in earth. Oh. But, and then Allah also says, I will always give them forgiveness if they ask for my forgiveness because I am mm -hmm. the most merciful. In the Quran. Where? So Allah says he will always forgive anyone if they ask for forgiveness now you talk about got a lot of the very disrespectful man like i thought i was going to have a debate with a very uh normal <coughs> person but you're really you talk about stuff like jesus this that i mean oh good point you said somebody lost an argument, but didn't lose a wrestling match to Jacob? Didn't your God lose a match to Jacob? Whatever you want to call it. Your God lost a match. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's in the Bible. Let us see. Your God lost a match to Jacob. You're stuck right now. You're probably thinking, what the hell am I going to do to my next move? But your God lost a match to Jacob. Your guy got tempted by the devil, and this is who you expect to save you. Beat up in the streets. Was 
the baby and the child that ate food. See, all you Christians, what you got to know is you can't stop Islam. Islam is the fastest growing religion, whether you like it or not. And that angers you. It angers you. It makes you frustrated. The Christian prince, it makes you frustrated, doesn't it? You know different from Sam, Shimon, and David, but even want to destroy you. Okay, my nigga, listen. If I really wanted to destroy you, it's not so hard, really. You're really a clown. You're a clown. And yeah. Damn, much of the king, bitch ass nigga. Fuck you. I'm off this bitch, nigga. <laughs> all right, all right, Ahmed. Well, thank you very much for saying the truth about Islam and for being truthful. Guys, did you hear what he said? Did you, did you hear what he said? You are just another slave of Islam. And slavery fit perfectly with your fear. You see, if God, if your God is a true God, he should make of you a good person. But he made of you nothing but a son of a devil. Jesus, the one you are talking about, even in the book of the devil, which is Quran, he is called the holy in chapter 19, verse 19. Your God can't explain how Jesus he ate, but yet he can live for a thousand of years. Jesus, he should die, but he did not die. Everybody should die, as you say, but not Jesus. Jesus is the only one who is alive. Muhammad is in the grave, and Jesus is alive. Because you cannot refute anything of what I said, you have to curse and you have to use a bad language. Now listen to me. That Suleiman was given the control of the jinn? Don't you think, you idiot, that this is a proof that Allah is false to God? What jinn, you idiot? I know what the Quran says about the jinn. Suleiman, he lost his ring. And the jinn, he got his ring. And he started having sex with his wives. And then when the women, they notice that the penis size of Suleiman is different, and the power of his penis is different, they reported the false uh, 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 Suleiman to the, uh, uh, to the elders, and then they found that this is the false Suleiman, this is a genie. What control of the jinn? Who in the world would believe that if somebody took off his reign, he will lose control of the jinn? That is something I saw in the movie, it's called the, what? The Lord of the Ring. How could you, you Muslims, believe in such a stupid story? And anyone knows how how, uh, how Suleiman he lost his kingdom? Anyone knows? Anyone knows? Let us remember together. Suleiman, he want to have a poo poo. <coughs> he want to go to the bathroom. The habit of Suleiman, he don't go to the bathroom with the ring because this is the ring of Allah. No way. It's a holy ring. So he gave his ring to his wife. The genie. You see, Suleiman, he have a control of the genie, but not when he is taking off his ring. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kids, sit down, sit down. Sit down. All right? Let me tell you a story. So Suleiman, he has to go uh, 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 to do cuckoo, cuckoo. And then he went to the bathroom. He gave the ring to his wife. Then the genie, who is very powerful, he can take the shape of anyone. He come to her in the shape of Suleiman. Abdul, Muslims, questions. As long as the genie can come in the shape of anyone. Did the genie come in the shape of Muhammad? What do you think, guys? Is this a good question? As long as the genie he was able to take the shape of Abraham, I mean, Abraham sorry, of uh, Solomon. And Solomon is a prophet of Allah. That means genes can do that to any prophet. And not only that, the story does not stop here. The genie, he took the shape of Suleiman and he started having sex with his wife. Oh boy. 